Welcome back to the Farmers Insurance Halftime Report. Mike Joseph standing by with Trent Gogler. Here's Mike. Gogler, Trent, great to have you here today. Uh, Mid-season right here for basketball, but approaching the holidays, just great to have you as a part of the halftime show. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Let's talk a little bit. You are the faculty mentor for the girls program. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, I know you haven't had a ton of involvement uh, since you've been doing this, but you've been here at Lafayette for five years. What kind of involvement has Kia had for you, and what discussions have you had with her about helping the girls along in their track? Yeah. So uh, I, I just came on as the faculty mentor for the women's team in around July. Okay. Uh, normally what I would do is I think moving forward I'll, I'll get all of the first-year players as my advisees when they come in, and so I'll have that sort of academic involvement with, uh, with the players. And uh, over the course of three or four years, I'll eventually have the whole team. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. But as of right now, uh, you know, what my main involvement has been through recruiting. So when when Kia and and the rest of the coaches bring uh, uh, prospects in, uh, they'll you know they'll come and meet with me, and we'll just talk talk life at Lafayette, talk a academics, and and you know uh, we'll hang out in my in my office, my building, and just sort of see the campus and talk about about that aspect of their time here. It's important to get to know the girls, get to kind of understand what they're all about, what makes them tick. Because at Lafayette, obviously, they're students first. We graduate kids at a phenomenal rate here. And so many of them have interests outside the basketball court. So that is so interesting. When they do bring recruits in, and this is a, it's a good point to make, and I was a recruiting coordinator for seven years here for football, and it was so important to have good relationships with professors to give the kids the real inside scoop, how many kids are in a class, those type of things. So you do get involved in recruiting. Tell me a little bit about that and how Kia has involved you in that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's been really nice when we meet with the families, and that's the, the thing I think is every time I've met a recruit, it, the family's been there as well, and so I'm, I'm also talking to mom and dad a lot and, and making them sort of understand what it's going to be like for their daughter at, at Lafayette and sort of getting them comfortable with uh, what types of relationships they might have with professors and opportunities they'll have, and I talk to them a lot about the research that I do with students and how I get independent study projects and, and senior thesis projects and things like that. Uh, and so I think that, you know, just sort of learning more about more than just the classroom, but the whole the whole academic picture, which is so much more than just what's happening in the classroom. And I think that that's been a, a sort of a key thing is, is is sort of cueing them in on on all of those. Opportunities. I used to always talk to my recruits and the parents about what Lafayette's like, because it is a college. And so many people, you would ask them the question, what is a college and a university? Most of them cannot give you the answer and don't know that graduate students or graduate schools make up a university. But Lafayette here. You're going to teach every kid. You're going to be involved with everything they do. You don't have a teacher assistant. You don't have someone that's going to grade your papers and stuff like that. And parents, I'm sure that question comes up along with a lot of other questions for recruits. Yeah, uh, it's true. So I don't have anyone grading the papers, which is why on the stands back there, I've got a stack of papers I'm still working on right now at the game because grades are due tomorrow. So, uh, uh, but no, it's it's true. And uh, I, I love, and that's really the reason why I chose to be at a place like Lafayette is because I want to have that sort of personal interaction with the students. I had been at institutions previously that were larger where I had uh, graduate students a as assistants and then you're sort of removed from the, the undergrads a lot and, and I don't like to be removed from them. I like to you know sort of interact with them and, and so that's one of the really nice things about Lafayette. And it takes us into your journey to Lafayette. Obviously Penn State, Carnegie Mellon and now Lafayette. Different atmosphere at each school, different way of approaching the students, different way of approaching uh, you know, statistics and math, correct? Yeah, very different. Um, so, you know, at all the previous institutions I was at, I was, uh, again, I, you know, teaching graduate students and undergraduates. I had assistants, plus I was in a statistics department, and now I'm in a math department. And so just all sorts of different things that are different about them, and, and the cultures are a little bit different. Uh, but I really like being at a place like Lafayette. I went to a small liberal arts school as an undergrad and always sort of dreamt of being back in a in an environment like that because I really like the way that faculty and students interact and, and form meaningful relationships. So everything for you, Trent, has come full circle almost, right, all the way back to Lafayette. Thank you so much for a couple minutes, and we're happy to have you, and I'm sure Key is happy to have you. We need to get it back in this ball game, don't we? We do. Thanks. And I'm not going to ask you about your noontime hoops like everybody else does. Guy's got a great jumper. Back to you, Gary. We need is a mentor. <laughs> so if we can get an announcer as a mentor, things will look really good. We'll be back. Stay with us.